Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawl Craft One in my old barn door, and I just came to show you um, a quick haul. So, my husband had called me and said, I'm going to run um, after work. I thought I would go to the grocery store, and I thought I would go and look at books, and I was like, oh yes, and he was like, do you want me, do you want to meet me there? And I was like, of course, so, and it's so cute because he loves to go book shopping with me. Well, he and I, we love to go thrift store shopping, so, um, so we were, we walked up, and they had, uh, we went to Goodwill, and they had all these books, you know, of course, sitting on the table outside, and so, um, we started going through those, and, and, uh, he found me some really cool books, and I told him, kind of told him what I was looking for, I told him, I said, I'm looking for Reader's Digest books, and, um, so, we found the mother load. So, check these out. Isn't that a pretty cover? So, um, I got a bunch of the Reader's Digest books. And I got them a couple of different places from a couple of different Goodwills or whatever. Um, so, what I want you guys to do, if you will, I need your opinion on which one I should use for the cover of my cowboy book. My cowboy slash western book. So, anyways, I'm just going to show you all these real quick. So, there's this one. And it's kind of um, a dark blue, and it has yellow, like a floral pattern down the side. Then there's this one, which I thought was way cool. This one, I think, would look cool for a Western journal. Then there's this one. Y'all, I got a bunch. There's this one. Love the leaves. And this one looks like it's got a little bit of of a stain down there or something but you know you can always do something with that then there's this one which i love i would love to find more of this this type of cover because that's super pretty so there's that one then there's this one and i really like this one it's kind of more like a vintagey looking book and it um you can kind of see the the spine is completely coming apart so that's going to need some repair but that won't be a problem I'll be able to fix that and then there's this one that I think is super pretty I love the little um it's almost like a floral design but then it looks like stars too so and then there's this one I love the cover of this one I love that purple and I'm thinking Victorian oh there's a book inside Modern short story classics of suspense. <laughs> Look how old that is. Let's see what the date on it is. 1927. Oh, it's an Agatha Christie book. Uh, renewed 1955. So, how cool is that? Didn't even know that was in there. Very cool. So, anyway, there's that one. And then there's this one. And it looked kind of like it was, um, you know, had some damage. So I pulled the cover off, and it's another one of those leaf. But you can see that um, it's kind of stuck right there. So I'm going to have to do some work on that to see um, what I can do to, to get that unstuck. But I think I can work with it. And then there was this one. So I opened it, and is it that so pretty look at that and you can tell the covers coming off or the spines coming off of that too but again I can fix that but isn't that gorgeous I love the light blue with the silver flowers so I was super excited when I saw that so there's that one now y'all be thinking about which one you want me to use for the western there's this one, which I think would be really cool for a Western journal. And even though this spine seems to be like a pinkish purple, this is more red. So, I don't know. So, that was the Reader's Digest books that we found. And then, I found this one. And I got it just because I really like the cover. And I think it would make a really pretty um, Christmas journal. And look, I don't know if you can tell... Uh, but the inside leaf pages are embossed with a floral. So, it would be really pretty. And, um, 
So yeah, I like this little book. So I just basically got it for the cover to make a, a journal out of the cover of it. So super pretty. And then we found, hang on, let me get them. Found these and these. <laughs> so we'll start with these. I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness. And I was super excited when I saw it. And um, it's not an actual... It's a new contemporary reading series of the Dick and Jane. So, um, it's kind of got some quirky Dick and Jane stuff in it. You see, oh, see, the copyright on it is 86. So, it's still considered vintage, but um, I'll just flip through. It doesn't have the, um, you know, the Dick and Jane uh, pictures, but I like the words. And uh, you can tell it's it's very 80s, <laughs> that's for sure. But I just thought it was fun, uh, you know, to find a book like this that's kind of the 80s version of Dick and Jane. Because how funny is that? So I grabbed it. I think it's cute. Check out that car. I guess that's Dick's car. It's got his name on the... Oh, <laughs> oh it's a Plymouth Reliant. So, yeah. So, anyways, super cute little book. I like the uh, the pictures. Look at the... Uh, so, that's Dick. That's Jane. You can tell she was in the 80s. That's Sally. And Susan. There's Rick, Adam, and Brad. Jessica and Robin. <laughs> There's Grandmother. She's, I guess, Bowen. And Spot. Oh, and Agatha made the, the doll. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought that was super fun. So I got it. And then I found this. And um, it's an old church hymnal. I, I love the color. Oh, it's got some in it. Oh, some little lady wrote down her favorite hymns and what pages they were on. How cute is that? I might have to use that. So, but I like the colors of the edges of the pages. And um, I like the way the page, I've always liked the way a handle felt anyway. So I was trying to see if there was a copyright date anywhere, but I don't see one. Oh, copyright 1940. So it's pretty old. Very cool. So I might add this into one of my book sales. We'll see. And then here is clip art. Uh, for churches, but I thought that I could use some of it in some of my journals. Now, I'm not going to use the crazy religious stuff or whatever, you know, the you're going to hell if you don't do this type stuff because um, I just don't, I don't like that kind of stuff. But I thought I could go through it and pick and choose um, what I like. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then it's been a minute since we went and did this. Um, so I'm kind of seeing these for the first time again sort of but this is just like a little floral book but i just love the the size of the pages in it and they would make perfect sizes for junk journals and i love that they have like whole page pictures like that so i picked that up then they had um these little magazines on embroidery and sewing and things like that. And I'll show you why I found, I got these, um, at the end of this video. Um, so there's these sewing magazines. These are, it's like quilting and then this quilting one. And I got these for the images in them. Check out how eighties she is. Talk about some pleather. That's great. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool quilt with the dog. So anyways, so I got these. And then I found some little golden books. And y'all know I got to pick up the little golden books when I find them. So there's Aladdin and Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, 
Lady and the Tramp. And this one's got a little damage, but I can work with that. The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. So I got those. And then I think my husband was just picking up um, <laughs> books because some of these wound up in... Uh, in my buggy and I don't really know why so but this you know I might could use this in a farmhouse journal I don't know we'll see <laughs> so he gets excited god love him <laughs> and then I found a Bambi and not sure if I'm gonna use this in a journal well I might because it's hard the spine is already broken um, I like using these on tags and um, you know cutting out the pictures and using them to decorate tags and stuff with and I just love Bambi I just think he's a sweetheart so got that one and then y'all I found him uh, a little engine that could and it's not the original version but I asked him if he wanted it and he was like yes so this will go to him he will he'll be able to keep that I'm gonna set that to the side then I found I think he found this I'm not sure all about seeds the little squirrel is cute um, let me see if there's a copyright date. Yeah, it's 1982, but I just like the pictures in it. Um, I thought it would be good for a floral or a botanical journal because they have really good illustrations, really cute um, pictures and illustrations in it. So, picked that. Yeah, I think this one I picked. So, got that one. And then... Zinnia's Flower Garden, and I love, love, love the bright colors in this, and actually, I'm glad I found this because I'm doing a little golden book series right now, and I think I'm going to use some of these pages in that little golden book that I'm working on. Look how bright and colorful. These would also make adorable book page envelopes because they have so much color and vibrance to them, So, and I even love the end, end paper. Super cute. So I got that one. Got this one. I love the cover of this book. Is that not the cutest cover? I mean, how stinking cute is that? So I will probably make a journal out of the cover and then just put something over this. Um, something cute or something. But uh, again, there's a reason that I got this and I will show you at the end of this video. But I love, love, love all the sewing stuff in here. Hint, hint. <laughs> then there was this, and I think he found this. Um, it has some really cool, um, really cool pages about history in it. Um, so, I don't know, I thought about maybe doing um, an American journal not just like a fourth of july or red white and blue but you know like a book about like a journal about america but i really like the the history i love history anyway so i just thought these pages were super cool they're very vibrant uh, very good colors um so yeah i like that so i got that one then i got this one because you know i'm doing a western journal so i might need to use some of these pages. Oh, that's coming apart. Even better. Um, but yeah, this would be, um, thought about using these pages for uh, envelopes because they're real good, good size. Oh, that'd be cute in a farm journal. Like I say, I haven't seen these in a minute because it's been a few weeks since we went and did this and I have not had the chance yet to do a video on it. So... Yeah, this would be really cute for a farmhouse journal and a western journal. So, this has a, a really old smell to it. And then I found Dumbo, and who doesn't love Dumbo? So, this would make a cute little journal. And I love using the um, images for um, inserts and tags and things like that. So, I found Dumbo. Then I found the Velveteen Rabbit. Make sure I'm still recording. We're almost there, guys, so hopefully this won't be too off a long video. But I just love the images in this, and I thought that um, it would be real sweet to make um, envelopes and book pages, things like that, for, 
for a journal. So I got the Velveteen Rabbit. And I love the fact that it has the little picture thing. And I might can even take that off and reuse it. I don't know. I thought about it. And then I had another one that's just like that with the little picture window called The Secret Garden. And y'all know if it's got anything to do with the garden or flowers, um, I'm definitely going to get it. So this will make super cute envelopes and journal pages and things like that. Let's see. So, yeah, I like the colors in this one. So, I got that one. And then I saw this Mother Goose book, but I've never seen one quite like this. But I thought it was so cute because it's different. It's kind of eclectic. Um, you know, it has cute little, uh, the way they drew the images and stuff. And this has the whole Jack and Jill poem. I don't know that I've ever heard other than the first verse. So, um... Yeah, I just thought it was different, and I liked it, so I went ahead and got it because you can cut these out and um, use them on tags and envelopes and tuck spots and all different kinds of stuff, so I just thought it was cute, so I got that, and then I found this fairy tale book, and I was like, I've never heard of diamond fairy tales, but look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? I like the end papers, so I started flipping through. And, um, yeah, I liked some of the images. Well, not the one with this butt showing, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought I, I could, um, use some of the, uh, images and stuff for pockets and tuck spots and envelopes and, um, so I got this one mostly for just to cut out the images, um, that are in here. I love that. Sleeping Beauty. That one's pretty. Thank you. So, um, yeah. So I thought I could use these. So I got that. And then I got a Mother Goose Rhymes book. And I thought this was so cute. I actually love the cover of this. And I might even make, um, I might make a journal out of the cover. Because it's just so stinking cute. Look at the end papers. They're cute too. So this just has some really cool pages. And I like the fact that it has single nursery rhymes to a page. So, um, yeah. So I got this one. Just Sorry, guys. My son was talking to me. So, anyways, um, yeah. I love the nursery rhymes. I love using this. Look, isn't that super cute? The old woman in the shoe, but it's little mice. Super cute, and I love the colors in it. So, I was excited to find this one. <laughs> Look at that bunny. That's so funny. There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. But when she was bad, she was horrid. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, anyways, I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I like the illustrations in this one because they're so very different too. So super cute little nursery rhyme book and um i don't know i think i paid 49 cent for it so you know yeah 49 cent and i think it was actually half off of that so so <coughs> that's all the books except for one last one and y'all i'm gonna tell you when i saw this book i just about came unglued i literally when i f it, this was it was on the very bottom shelf of a bookshelf in the very far left corner. And I just barely saw it. And when I saw it and I pulled it out and realized what it was, y'all, you're going to laugh at me. I turned around and looked around the store like I had found gold and I was afraid somebody was going to take it from me. It was the funniest reaction ever and I wish that somebody could have been there to see it because y'all would have cracked up laughing. But yes, I, it was like I found gold when I found this. So, here we go. Ah! Oh my gosh. I was so excited. I have been looking for one of these forever. And I found it at Goodwill in the bottom corner of a bookcase, y'all. Oh, so stinking excited. And look how good a shape it's in. I mean, it's got some yellowing and it's got some staining, which I will wash it um, and try and clean it off. But oh my gosh. 
oh y'all I'm telling y'all, if y'all could have seen me when I found it, <laughs> I probably look like uh, the cat that ate the canary. It was so funny. I laughed so hard at myself. So, and it's in fairly decent shape. It's a little dusty, so I'll do some wiping down to it. Um, but yes, I'm so excited. I've been looking for one of these forever. Copyright date 1970. So, yay, super excited. So, yeah, it's got all of the tabs. Um, it's got, I think it's got, um, I'm pretty sure it's got all of the, all of the pages that go with it. But, yes, I was so super excited about finding this book. So, um, that's why I bought those uh, quilting books and the patchwork books and the sewing books because I'm going to be making a sewing journal. I'm really excited. So anyways, those were my finds. This was the find of the day. Um, so I just have been excited to show you guys that I finally found one. Super excited. So anyway, um, that is my haul for today. And um, I'm probably not going to have any more haul videos for a while because I have um, put myself on a freeze, I guess you could say, because honestly, I'm running out of room in my craft room. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And so I have decided that whatever books I'm going to make, I'm going to use what I have first. I'm not going to go buy anything other than, you know, like glue or, you know, if I run out of glue or I do need an ink pad, little things like that. But as far as stuff to make the books out of, I'm not going to buy anything for a while because I've got fabric coming out my ears. I've got books coming out my ears. Um, scrapbook paper coming out my ears. I mean, it is just ridiculous, the stuff that is in my craft room. So, but anyways, I was just super excited to share my lucky find with you guys. I am very blessed to have found this book. So, very excited. So, you guys be looking. Um, I'm going to have, uh, I am going to do my Western Journal or Cowboy Western Journal and my Hobby Lobby not Hobby Lobby, Holly Hobby <laughs> journals first, and then I'll start working on my sewing journal, so y'all be looking for it, so anyways, that is my haul, um, y'all don't forget to tell me which, um, of the, uh, the Reader's Digest books, book covers that you think that I should use, so, um, yeah, I would really love your opinion on those, so y'all let me know what you think, um, as to which cover I should use. So leave it in the comments below. Hit like, hit subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave those below as well. And just know that Jesus loves you. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Big hugs.